Frederick Murray Benjamin. Multiple indictments, 2022 GS 43372, charging him with possession of a Schedule II controlled substance, first offense, possession of cocaine, and possession of cocaine base, or crack cocaine. Indictment 2023 GS 43139, charging him with failure to stop for a plea. Sorry, Your Honor, this is a straight up plea without recommendation, without negotiation. Forgive me. We, we, Mr. Bell reminded me, kindly reminded me, and it is without recommendation, Your Honor. Now, I see two of these charges are, are, are not to be a true bill, right? Actually, Your Honor, after the after January, Your Honor, the state did present these to the grand jury, and they were a true bill. We attempted a plea in January. It went awry. We are here now um, on very pleasant terms, ready to enter a plea, but all charges have been presented to the grand jury. A right a skew, right? Yes, yes, Your Honor, when a skew. And we are here on track. All right, so I see you. Failure to stop. Drugs. 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 And failure to stop. Is that right? Is that everything? Yes, Your Honor. Bill, is that right, sir? That's right, sir. Mr. Benjamin. Yes, sir. Do you prefer to call Mr. Murray Benjamin or, or Mr. Benjamin or what? Um, I don't know. Okay. I'll use Murray. All right, Mr. Murray, on these five charges, by my count, how do you plead? Guilty. Mr. Murray, these are straight up charges. You know what that means? Mm, no, sir. It means that the court has wide latitude to describe the sentence you as it sees fit, meaning that could be concurrent, a mix of concurrent and consecutive, or all consecutive. I don't have to follow any recommendations. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Let's just go ahead and get to that point then. Okay. Looking at three years, 13 years, 16 years, 19 years. It could all add up possibly to be 22 years today. I'm not saying it will be, but that's the worst you could get today. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Do you still wish to go forward? Yes, sir. All right. So, Mr. Ben Murray, how do you plead on these charges? Guilty. Have you had enough time to talk to your lawyer, Mr. Bell, about what you were doing today? Yes, sir. Are you satisfied with your lawyer's services? Yes, sir. You have 10 days to appeal the pleas and the sentences. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Ms. McElwain? Yes, Your Honor. As to the indictment in 372, Your Honor, on... February 9th, 2020 in Sumter County, Highway Patrol uh, noticed the silver Kia failing to maintain its lane. A check through DMV showed the vehicle's plates were suspended. Um, officers initiated a traffic stop and um, Mr. Jaquan Murray Benjamin, when stopped, uh, while, while, I'm sorry, while going, uh, turned on the interior light of the vehicle and was um, digging around the center console to conceal items. Eventually the car came to a stop when the officers approached, he observed Mr. Murray Benjamin appeared to be eating what was believed to be suspect marijuana and a pink MDMA pill. Mr. Murray was detained. A search of the vehicle discovered eight grams of a green leafy substance and another pink pill believed to be marijuana and a small baggie containing a white powdery substance believed to be cocaine and a small white and tan rock believed to be crack cocaine or cocaine base. The drugs were tested on August 26, 2020 and came back as one is oxycodone and acetaminophen, another is cocaine base of crack cocaine, and another, uh, the powder substance was cocaine, Your Honor. He was charged with the with those three drug offenses. As to the failure to stop for a blue light, in indictment 2023, GS 43-139, on April 20th, 2022, officers of the Sheriff's Office were on patrol running a stationary radio, radar on Patriot Parkway. They observed a Nissan Altima traveling southbound at a high rate of speed, confirming 62 miles per hour in a 45 mile per hour zone. Officers got behind the vehicle and activated blue lights and sirens. The vehicle continued driving and turned right onto Loring Mill Road and accelerated to about 73 miles per hour. Officers notified dispatch that the vehicle was not stopping. The vehicle turned left onto Muscovy Trail and then right onto Mallard Drive and then right onto Idle Lake Court. While driving on Idle Lake Court, the officer observed the driver, this defendant, pouring the liquid out of a cup from the driver's window, and then the vehicle turned into 230 Idle Lake Court. 
Officers got out and ordered the driver out of his vehicle. He was placed under arrest. Mr. Murray Benjamin was the driver. He admitted what he threw out the window out of the window was marijuana and alcohol. There's an open bottle of Svedka vodka found in the front passenger seat rear pocket. As to um, the uh, 2024 indictment, Your Honor, on February 17th, 2022, on a patrol, Detective Hanson with the police department observed a gold 1999 Honda Accord traveling westbound on Wilson Hall Run Road with one bullet hole in the trunk and one bullet hole in the back windshield. Um, the officer got behind the car and tried to initiate an investigative stop. They had two large shooting incidents in the past two days, and the officer wanted to identify the driver and see where the dark damage occurred for the shooting incidents. Um, the driver, as Detective Hansen was trying to order him over to initiate an investigative stop, the driver, this defendant, Mr. Jaquan Murray Benjamin, realized that the officer was with law enforcement. He made a left turn in the parking lot of Comfort Suites and then began to travel at a high rate of speed towards the exit parking lot on Wilson Hall Road. He turned onto Wilson Hall Road and traveled at speeds well above the 40 mile per hour posted speed limit. Um, Detective Hansen continued to attempt to make it a traffic stop with his blue lights and sirens activated. Um, as Detective Hansen was approaching, he observed a minor collision between the suspect vehicle and another vehicle. The Honda still continued down Wilson Hall Road towards Wise Drive with speeds reaching 80 miles per hour with good road conditions and moderate traffic conditions. Um, the car nearly collided with a pickup truck before turning onto Wise Drive. At this point, another officer took over pursuit as the lead car in a fully marked patrol vehicle. The car continued down Wise Drive and onto Patriot Parkway with speeds reaching just over 100 miles per hour. The car continued down Patriot and later attempted to make a left turn into Shedrick's Lane intersection. Once, um, when he tried to make the turn, the driver lost control due to speed and ran into a ditch. Once he stopped, the driver, this defendant, was wearing a white t-shirt, blue jeans, and was reaching into his waistband, got out of the car, and ran down Shedrick's Lane towards Julius Lane. Then eventually he gave up and was detained. He was identified as this defendant. He started making excited utterances about he knew why he was being stopped. Uh, officers located two 40 caliber bullets in his front left pants pocket, three uh, 40 caliber bullets, and a blue cigarette lighter along the path where he had run. Uh, he was driving under suspension, second offense, had paid four failure to pay traffic tickets, a cancellation of insurance. Um, the tag came back to a different car. Uh, Mr. Murray Benjamin admitted he did not have insurance. Um, an inventory of the vehicle observed a large clear bath plastic bag containing 56.8 grams of suspect marijuana lying on the, dry, lying on the driver's floorboard. Um, there were also Apple, an Apple phone, a flip phone, a 40 caliber Glock magazine containing 20 bullets on the driver's floorboard, a Ziploc bag containing multiple smaller plastic bags on the driver's floorboard, opened bronze 40 caliber bullets in the driver's door panel, a digital scale with no back in the door panel, a clear plastic bag, two clear plastic bags in the center console with suspect marijuana, an open Patron silver tequila bottle located in the rear passenger side floorboard, and all were collected and placed into evidence and the marijuana was placed into a best kit. He was charged with these offenses. Um, Your Honor, uh, the drugs were tested and came back, Your Honor, as, um, as suspected of as marijuana, Your Honor, um, and they were tested on January 27, 2023. Mr. Jaquan Murray Benjamin does have a criminal history He's got a driving under, in, under suspension from 2022, and I believe that is the extent of his criminal history at this time. Now, the drugs were officially and finally confirmed as drugs, right? Yes, Your Honor. By Sled. Mr. Murray, did you hear what she said happen? Yes, sir. Mr. Murray, it's what she has told me about these matters, all of them substantially correct. Yes, sir, I'm guessing. Well, do you agree or not agree? I agree. Do you need time to talk to your lawyer? No, sir. Mr. Murray, are you pleading guilty to these charges based on what I was told or what I read because you are indeed guilty? Yes, sir. And you still wish to plead guilty? Yes, sir. Mr. Bill, any concerns about his pleas, sir? 
Not at all, Your Honor. This has been in, a, in the works for quite some time, and I've had plenty of time to talk to him, both during the initial attempt at the plea in front of Judge Cothran uh, and then today as well, Your Honor. He's given this plea freely, knowingly, voluntarily, advice and consent of here to the counsel. I find their facts the base, and I will accept them. <clears throat> Straight up, any recommendations at all? This is without recommendation, without negotiation. <coughs> Thank you, Your Honor. Please, court. Your Honor, he's uh, currently 24 years old. Uh, the DUS that was referenced as part of his criminal history uh, was a companion charge to one of the, the charges that was currently in front of Your Honor. So before he uh, started picking up these charges that he's here pleading to today, he did not have a criminal history. He had done well as a juvenile um, in spite of the fact that his he grew up with his father in uh, the Department of Corrections. Um, his mother has been battling with cancer most of her life. Um, at the prior hearings we've had uh, with Jaquan, he's had a lot of family present. Unfortunately, due to timing, we couldn't get him here today. Um, but his mother has come, even though she's been, um, like I said, dealing with cancer. And most consistently is his sister, Ms. Singleton, who works for the Department of Mental Health. Um, and I would say that she is Jaquan's biggest fan. Um, and at the end of this plea, I'm going to be asking Your Honor for a sentence that places him on probation, allowing him to live with his sister, who is gainfully employed and does not have a criminal history, at 1475 Furman Drive. Um, judge, these uh, charges stem from 2020 into 22, as you've heard. Um, this is probably the first and only time I've ever had a client um, upon a motion to revoke being filed tell me that he wanted to consent and not fight a judge. And we showed up in court, um, I think in front of Judge Griffin, um, and consented to his bond being revoked on September 19th, 2022. Um, he had been incarcerated since that time. I'm currently bringing his time to 568 days, which is about right at 19 months, Your Honor. Um, and he's been sitting and patiently waiting. Um, at the previous attempt to enter this plea, um, I'll back up. This has never been a situation where he's been fighting a guilt or an innocence judge. He's done what he's done. He's been remorseful and apologetic when I've talked to him. Um, we previously scheduled this in front of Judge Cothran, uh, and it was a dispute between lawyers that had nothing to do with uh, my client backing out or trying not to take accountability between anything. So we set it aside at that time and we're back before your honor now. Judge, he's a graduate from Lakewood High School. He was spending his time working at Continental uh, prior to these arrests. Um, I've talked to my client extensively and I talked to law enforcement about whether he has any validation or, or gang connections. Um, the answer has been negative to those things, Judge. But even uh, with that said, I, I had very significant concerns that he was hanging out with the wrong crowd. I gave him the speech that if you, know, you hang out with the wrong crowd long enough, you become the wrong crowd. And I think the individuals he was hanging around with were motivation for a lot of this reckless behavior. As you heard, some of these incidents took place on Wilson Hall Road. Some of them took place in Idlewild. I live in Idlewild. My children run around the yard in Idlewild. My children go to Wilson Hall. Um, so I've obviously emphasized to him the absolute um, danger that he is to the community when he's failing to stop for uh, police. Um, I've also talked to him about numerous clients I represented that have been hit by individuals uh, that were fleeing from police. And it is a dangerous thing that he was doing. With that said, though, um, we finally got into a point where he knew that he needed to create distance from these individuals who were being a bad influence on him. He has allowed himself to sit in uh, the Sumter Lee Regional Detention Center, waiting for his chance to take accountability here in front of your honor. Um, I believe that there's been enough time and distance between him and these other individuals that it's not going to be an issue. Upon release, again, his uh, sister is offering to take him in, someone who's gainfully employed, uh, and keep a good eye on him and make sure he uh, himself gets a job and continues to work. Um, Your Honor, again, no prior record. Uh, we are asking that you uh, give him um, stack time above his head, suspend that to probation, understanding that he has spent 568 days in jail, which is close to 19 months. Ms. We just take the position that Mr. Jaquan Murray Benjamin was the problem, um, but we appreciate um, Your Honor's ruling in any sentence, Your Honor. Uh, Your Honor, I just want to um, say it. I know what I did, and um, I just want to say it. I know what I did, but I had no time to sit and realize that that's not the life that I want to live. Being that 
and I was addicted to drugs and doing everything in the family's way. And I just want to say that I had enough, uh, enough time to sit in and realize that that's not the life I want to live. And I just want to have a second chance at life to take care of my family and be there for all of my loved ones. Thank you. No prior probation, probation right, sir? That's correct, Your Honor. False. Would to load you up. <clears throat> but I reconsider based upon the fact that you haven't been on probation yet, <coughs> has been a passenger time, and you have served 568 days in jail. <coughs> so, on indictment 139, failure to stop three years, Department of Corrections, five years probation. These are all concurrent. Drugs. Three seven two three years five years probation. Another three seven two drug three years five years probation concurrent. And one fifty eight drugs ten years five years probation concurrent and blue light three years five years probation concurrent. Credit the time served. Thank you, Ron. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Dalton.